Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of Gumpla TV. I am once again joined by my mate, David. Dave. Yeah, mate. Welcome back, mate. Cheers, mate. <laughs> and we are on episode 311. 311. So that's yeah. American rock band named 311. Also, what other famous thing happened 311? No idea. No idea. Come on, we're in Japan. It was 2010, was it? 2010, oh. the giant earthquake was on 2011. March 11th. 2011, okay. Yeah, a year I before I came. I wasn't here at HLJ. Of course, we have the video up still on our yeah. YouTube from, like, I think, who was it? Sid that was recording? No, it was, it was Ardith. Ardith, yeah. Ardith was recording, yeah. and they were I've here. I was I was in Japan, but I was down in another city, south, far south of this place, but kind of closer to the Nagoya area. It was in London, But even mate. that far, <laughs> I could still feel that quake, even yeah. though it was up in Tohoku. So that was a crazy day, I remember. All right, so we are back again today, and we have some new stuff that just came in this yeah. week. One kit that I have been looking forward to is the new Narrative Gundam C-Pack. So we had the A-Pack came in December, but yeah. I never had a chance to build it. Now we have the C-Pack, so I'm, I really want to get around to box. building that A-Pack as well, but I'm not sure I'll be able, because that thing was so massive, I'm not sure I'll be able to get around to it, but at least I'll get the C-Packs built and put together. So this is awesome. And, and we also got... have a figurized kit that came in. What type... Kamen Rider. Kamen Rider. Which one is that, dude? Z-Zero. Z -Zero. Or do you say Z-I-Zero? Z-I-Zero. Z -I -Zero? I'm not sure. Let's just say Z, Z, or is it Z-O? Z-O, maybe. Yeah. I like this one because it's got pink and purple. Yeah, that's an interesting color scheme. Yeah. So that one's looking quite intriguing as well yeah i always think that these look way cooler it as kits than they do as the actual as the, as the figures like no the, than the tv show oh, okay. they just look so fake in the tv show but obviously Usually as a kit common writer and that stuff is kind of really very bit, childish it's a bit goofy i mean well those shows, <laughs> those shows are really made for kids really yeah. but i mean well, they have a lot, a lot of, adults of adult fans too so. collect it. i think i've got two on my desk so yeah just so, because they so. look cool <laughs> no, hey, but I mean, model kits is always fun to build different kinds of model kits, whether it's a common Rider or a singing anime girl figure, sure. which we'll get into in a bit. And we also have and one more, another Gun's full back. metal panic. So we had one on last week, I think it was. And this guy is now. And this one, we have a new version. Joined the, the blue the blue band group or whatever it's called. Oh, the blue man group? Blue man group, that's I it. saw them in Las Vegas <laughs> once. Really? So that was a while ago. I don't know if they still performed there, but yeah, I, so watched, yeah, this I went to the blue man group. Todd was telling me this came out. Yep, I'm not sure if we'll get it, if we'll put that one together because I think it looks quite similar to what we've already done. Just a new color scheme. It actually looks identical to the first one I built, so I think I'll probably skip this one. But we have other stuff to do, and we have stuff to talk about that we have yeah, built yeah. today. So, Dave, you helped build something this week, didn't yes, you? What was the that? Silphy. Silphy. Yeah, um, and I've got to say, it was a bit of a, a bit of a mission putting that together. The okay. parts are tiny. Her, her armor's got little little triangular blitz and uh, that you've got to put in right um but you i what i did is i type cheated and i i spray paint like because i put a bit of color on it oh. but i did it the 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 cheats way and sprayed the uh, runners instead okay. of individual parts <laughs> but the, um the cheating way uh yeah so i put that together all right so, so we'll take a look at that now i actually have three so many things, things that i put together so we had a comment last week hey we want to see the SDCS stuff. So I oh, like, okay, yeah. So, so I, I, I went ahead and put this together. I mean, it's not that whole lot to show off, take, really, but we'll just take, we'll take look at it minutes. for like a minute. I mean, this thing went together, basically, in less than 30 minutes, too, so they're cool. quite, quite, quite simple to build. How long did the Miku take? Which one? Oh, yeah, so we also have the the next from Kotobukiya. I have so the cool. Frame Arms Hatsune Miku. Now, she took maybe, I want to say four four three hours maybe. Mm. not too bad actually both of these kits really i i did the kotobuki hatsune miku and then i also have from good smile company the monoroid lines i have mm. that shinkalian so both that kit also i both of these kits i put together in one day each so less I, three or four hours each so not not so bad really i think i put the main figure together in three hours but then the backpack took oh so much time i don't know uh, why um and i did that this morning at four o'clock I'm not joking. Roll footage. And uh, yeah, that was that was um, that was something finicky because okay. it, it's like really hard to squeeze the parts. They're very stiff. Uh -huh. I'll tell you what. I, I think I know why everything was stiff because you know when you spray paint, 
Right. It adds an extra oh, bit it adds of... Oh, a, a tiny bit of layer. And I mean, these pegs, the pegs in these kits are like specifically engineered yeah. to perfectly fit so in that, that hole. It's a stiff model, but I think it's like a stiff kit, but stiff is good, right, for posability and stuff. Uh -huh. So yeah, let's have a look at uh, all of these goodies. Okay. Here we have the Silphy Striker version. So this is, um, this is just another version of the Silphy that already came out. And indeed, I think they probably used the same runners as before for some parts, ah. which is why um, the you know the black areas just are left non-used. That type of worried me for, for a bit because there's a lot of hair that's not used. Oh, okay. But um, obviously, they've changed up her type of visor or whatever you call helmet bit. Uh, and so to accommodate for that, they've made two new bits of hair. You got a little bit of hair left over then. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, yeah, as, as I was saying, I've kept the color scheme that's in the, um, in the manual, but I just added a bit of, like, I don't know, metallic, I guess you say. Okay, Shiny. you went crazy. You actually went through the trouble of coloring your stuff. Yeah, and I used the Gundam markers just to put on the black bits, make uh, this little cat, cat thing look catish. And you added some metallic to the backpack, I see? Yeah, a little bit. That's just to... Um, I wanted to try and get rid of them, like, nub marks or you know ah, so I just okay it. um yeah, but that'll, yeah that'll help this okay but parts that are removable are the chainsaw -y bit this and her big glove that's not actually her hand it's like an extension of her fist oh okay um i you can change the faces as well and um i just don't like the other ones but you've got that one, and then there's another toothy one, and one that you can make yourself. Another toothy one? Toothy. Toothy. You know where oh, they're toothy. like grinning. I thought um, it was a toothy. <laughs> okay, and her backpack is also removable. I'm not going to do that at the moment, but yeah, you can push it up and down. Um, but I'd have a like it like this, you know. Oh. <sighs> Looks cool. Uh, there's bits here that you can pull out at the bottom to make it like... I don't know. What would you call oh, that? Oh, okay. So she's got like heel little... guard or something. Little heel guards or... Man, what would that be? Heel guard or just like an extra little weapon on the back if she wants to back kick something? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm guessing these all these holes around uh, are just so you can top of customize. Because mm. they're all, they've all got the same um, ability to join on these bits. Ah. And I think you can cross customize across the uh, whole range of frame arm skills, right? Probably. There is, yeah, there's a lot of different things you can do. I like those little cat marks they have all over this thing. Yeah, like it's. I think this is even meant to be the one on the helmet. There's oh, yeah. like a little. Looks catish, doesn't it? Right, and on the shield the little, there. Yeah. Um, what else? Okay, basically her head can move, her arms can move. Yo. That's always a plus. <laughs> yeah. Um, even though that one's going to pop out, like always happens with Todd. Yeah, I'm sure I'm going to about to do it on some of these kids. I know for sure Shin is going to fall apart on me. Yeah. So as as I was saying before, the uh, joints are uh, they're stiff. But I think that's good. Yeah, that is good. I mean, some of these kits, if it's too Things. loose and it falls apart, that's yeah. not good. Yeah, like she hasn't fallen apart yet. So let me just show you. You can take this off. There we go. Oh, okay. And that's quite an interesting view. Yeah, it is. Um, and that's about it, really. So, yeah, I enjoyed making this. It took longer than I thought it would, actually. Because it's, you know, you think, oh, it's, it's a so small. It's so small, right? Yeah, but it's so finicky. What I was saying before about these little parts is like this, for instance, is a is a part that has a very tiny pin, mm. so it's hard to put in and stuff. Um, and parts of her head were also like that. Right. And these bits here, God, they're annoying. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyway, okay. So that's the selfie, and she is in striker mode. Okay. Well, thanks a lot, Dave. I like the, the little guns on the side of this. Oh yeah, yeah, cool the guns. Too. Pew 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 pew. pew, pew. All right, so is it my turn then? Yes. All right, so first up, let's get this guy out of the way here. So here we have the... It is... What am I looking at here? I completely forget. The Freedom Gundam. All right, so we have the Freedom Gundam, the SD Cross Silhouette Freedom Gundam here. Not a whole lot really to talk about this kid. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. I mean, we've covered the, the Cross Silhouette stuff a lot on this show. So we've, of course, you know, it has that inner frame. And the kit itself only comes with the SD version of that frame. So if you want to build it in the taller version, the Cross Silhouette form. Let's see, do they have an image of that here? 
All right, so they have an image of it here. So, of course, the cross silhouette version is going to give you a lot more. Longer legs. Longer legs, longer arms, more flexibility because it has the extra joint in the arms and the legs. So if you want to have more posability with your kit, then definitely you should buy this frame, which is sold separately. All right, so, I mean, he looks pretty cool. He's got those wings and the interesting backpack. And, of course, like the other guys as well, you have the head option. Let me see if I can pump this out here. You have the option. Am I going to be able to do it? This thing is all... I always have trouble getting this thing off. But with these kits, there, let's just do it this way. You have... I, I always like... I prefer this version of the eyes. But you can always take this off and rotate it around. And they give you these stickers. I was just so, about to ask, why is the art different to what, what it looks like? Right. So I mean, this is like the standard like BB type thing where you've got like those... The giant eyes. Like it shows on the, on the box art. But I don't know. I kind of just prefer like the more... I just said, well, look at that box. It's like naturally rotating out. <laughs> I was wondering how did it get over there. But yeah, so you have you have a different options for the eyes, which is always a bonus. The wings, I have to say, I actually did not put the stickers on, come to think about it. It comes with these extra stickers that you were supposed to be able to put on the wings and another red one here, which I actually don't remember where it was supposed to go. <gasps> oh, no. But yes, other than that, the side skirt here, I remember this thing. This is kind of cool too. Yeah, the sword, it was meant to go there. Oh, is that what it yeah. is? Oh, okay, that would make sense. So the this shield. has has the, what would, what do they call these cannons? I, I don't remember the name of these cannons now. Uh, oh, somebody will correct me in the comments, I'm sure. But yeah, it has these, the side, side skirt things that fold out into the cannon, so. That's always cool, always fun. Let me see if I can put it back. So I've, I've already lost my first part, and that would be the leg here. So yeah, I mean, SD cross silhouette kits. If you like the look of the SD kits, then they are always fun to build, and they go together really quickly. All right, so next up, we're going to take a look at the... Can I even get the box in here? I can get it in here a little bit. It's kind of From rotate. Good Smile Company in the Modroid line, we have the E5... Shinkalian Hayabusa. So this kit just came out in February, but I never had a chance to put it together until now. We've done a few of these Modroid kits before on the show, and they kind of, I gotta say, they build together a bit similar to a Kotobukiya kit. That makes sense because these and the Kotobukiya kits are both made in China, so they have that part in common. And let's see. Although one thing they don't share in common between these Motoroid kits I've noticed and the and the the Kotobukiya kits is usually the Kotobukiya kits they come pre-painted with mm. I don't remember the last time I built a Kotobukiya kit that had stickers. Did your kit have stickers? Nope. Yes, but these kits do have stickers. And look at the amount of the stickers. Actually it had quite a lot of stickers yeah, to say, go yeah, through. How you did the like the little yellow bolts. On the, uh, okay, so yeah, we'll show that off once he rotates around to the front here. So it actually, this kit does come with some parts pre-painted. So on the shoulders here, the black parts in, on the window and the pink line for his shoulders and the, all the, the pink parts on his face mask. Let me pull him off so that we can just get a closer look. So these parts actually are painted up in here in the face and on the shoulders, but like here, down here on the side of the chest, not in the the... On the chest part, these are all stickers, and you have stickers for all the little orange bits, stickers that go on the side of the legs. So quite a stickers. The weapon is basically all just covered in stickers. Quite a few stickers that you're going to have to deal with when you put together this kit. And uh, let's see. So his let's take a look range of movements that you can go with this guy. So actually, he's quite. You can see I had him posed up originally how he was. So he does. He is able to pose quite well, I think. Now he is actually pretty sturdy, I have to say, for a Chinese kit, although the leg has a little bit of movement to it. And one thing that was driving me nuts all the time was the head joint is really not on there too sturdy, so it keeps popping off every now and then. But other than that, I gotta say he looks cool. One thing I was maybe a bit surprised was surprised about is when you look when you get this kit and you look at the box art. The box art for this kit, let me bring that box back. The kit is quite, quite large on the box, or at least it shows it. But when you actually build the kit and you get it together, let me 
compare it like right in front of the box. The actual kit is kind of quite smaller than the image that it shows on the box. So I don't know, just, just the size of the box is quite large and the image of the, the product is quite large. But when you actually put it together, you really maybe shouldn't expect anything larger than an HG mm. kit. So this thing is about really about the same size as an HG kit. But I mean, it looks cool. And this, this Shinkalian thing, I think it only started in like 2018. And it's already kind of becoming a bit popular, I think, with the younger, with the younger audiences here in Japan. So maybe this is going to be like their future version of Gundam that they're going to remember back up, <laughs> back upon, be like, man, remember Shinkali, and that was such a great series. So I mean, it is kind of an interesting idea, isn't it? It's a mm. bullet train that transforms into a robot, isn't that? Well, everyone something? loves the. Uh bullet train right right i think that's probably part of the reason why it's kind of becoming popular with the young younger younger boys here in japan is that, i mean they love the bullet trains and then now you got this cool looking bullet train that transforms into this giant robot with the sword that's going to come and save the planet from aliens that are attacking from planet whatever <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i mean it was actually this kit wasn't so bad once I got it all put together. Whoops, I knocked off my first... No, that's the second part I've knocked off there. So I would recommend this, especially if you're a fan of the trains and the Shinkalian stuff. All Great. right, let's move on. Next up we have, and this is the last one we're going to be covering today, from Kochobukia in the Frame Arms Girl stuff. It's Hatsune Miku. Cool. Yay. Isn't she beautiful? Yep. She's, I like her. she's your favorite, isn't she, Dave? Yeah. <laughs> so this kid is kind of, it's quite of interesting. This is the first time I think, is it the first time I built a frame arms? Or I mean, a Hatsune Miku on this show? I know we I had, so. Bandai had the, like the little bust, the figureized bust stuff. And I think mm. they did a Hatsune Miku on, in the figureized bust. And I don't remember if I ever actually put her together in those bust stuff or not. But anyway, we have Kotobuki's new version of this kit. And she looks quite, what? Quite nice, actually. This kit together, this kit went together quite well. I have to say, she's quite quite sturdy. She yeah. actually does passes my leg test of sturdiness. That she's not flopping around at all, and she's quite quite nicely proportioned. I should say, with a lot of like good details in there and what have you. You can take a look at the the back side. You can see kind of like the belt and what what she comes equipped with. I'm not exactly sure like what the 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 terms are well thanks for following around with the camera i'm not exactly what the terms are for her weapons and whatnot whoop oh no she's come apart that's like a horror horror story reviewers whatnot ah there it goes again but yeah she's got this cool looking cool looking kind of like belt thing that goes on to the yeah. side now one thing to note about this belt i went ahead and i chose this back piece for this kit because actually when you build it in the manual it kind of shows this is like the standard one but it also comes with another version of this and this one has like a hole at the bottom here for and the what, stand and yeah and what you need that for is the stand which does come included with this kit but as you saw when i had her on the turntable originally she is actually able to even though her feet are quite small she is able to stand on her own all right, so let's take a look at how about the movements on this girl. Where are we going there? So her toe, she has a little bit of toe movement, which is something I wasn't really expecting her to have mm. on this kit. The legs are quite pretty flexible, bendy. pretty bendy. And the arms are quite nice as well. So she has a range of movements. So I think she would be quite good, except uh, you can see I keep knocking the waist joint here. I keep having trouble with her popping off on that waist there but oh no she not wanting to go back together now i lost the belt so yeah the waist joint you do have to worry about a little bit the skirt is like individually kind of comes in these individual mm. pieces so you're able to move move the legs around because the skirt's not going to just stay as one piece now speaking of the arms for the hands this kit does give you a quite a hands. few hand options so i have basically the standard hand open like jazz hand looking things but then you also have like she comes with like pointing fingers whoops she's flying around there you got some pointing fingers you got hands for like holding on to other stuff which she does come with some options as well let me just put her down so she comes with this microphone so she can get her sing on because she likes to sing 
And of course, when you sing, you're going to need speakers for the sounds to come out of. Although, I mean, they're just plastic. But hey, mm -hmm. that looks cool, doesn't it? Yep. A lot of Hatsune Miku fans out there, so they might be quite interested in this kit. And we do have her in stock. She actually came out, this kit originally came out, I think, woo, around the end. Her feet are small, so it is a bit challenging. There we go. Ah! As soon as I get her bounce, of course, I had to knock her over. Nope, now I'm not going to be able to do it again. I think Dave, you jinxed me. I'll just hold on to her. So she actually came out towards the end of last year, but there was another release that came out in January of this year, and we still have quite a few of her in stock. So if you're interested in Hatsune Miku, and you want a quite cute version of her to sit on your on your shelf, then I would highly recommend it. And maybe she can make friends, right? <laughs> Hey guys, how are you? Let's have some tea. Thank much. you. I think that uh, your uh, Miku is pretty damn cool. Isn't she? she yeah, quite, like it. Quite nice. All right, do we Let's, have comments? We have from comments. Last week? Okay, we, our first comment is from Alasda. Ooh. Maybe. Okay, and he says, "Hi guys. Hi. It is good that such models of the turret from the cruise often appeared in the programs." Todd, tell me a secret. What date in March will be on sale in the store, MG Diane? Dynamics. Dynamics. I think it's dyn dyn Dynamics. 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 So the, the Master Grade Dynamics will be here. I think Anna originally actually applied to your comment. We didn't know the exact date at that time, but we do have a date. And the Dynamics, the M Master Grade Dynamics is going to be released on March 32nd. So that's two weeks away from today. Cool. So, 22nd. Look forward to it. And then also... Also, Metal Gun Plabilt. Well, that's a familiar name. Yeah, he's on every, every week. <laughs> well, I don't think that often, is it? <laughs> Todd, do you know the difference between Bandai 30 Minutes Mission Kits and HG Gumblers? Would like to see a comparison between these two. All right, so we had these th new Bandai 30 Minute Mission Kits. They went up on our site like a week or two weeks ago. They're kind of interesting. They are not part of the Gundam universe, but they look very similar to a Gundam. And, I mean, they have a YouTube video that you can watch on the Bandai channel that kind of explains a bit more about these things. But it really reminds me of last year Bandai released an HG Leo kit. Right. And that kit, just the parts break down between that Leo kit and these 30-minute missions kit. They look quite similar, I have to say. So 30-minute missions kits are basically just, they just look, exactly like an HG kit kind of it has like two different runners not a whole lot of polycaps to them but the joints are all hard joints it looks like and you can swap different parts between different versions so they have like a bunch of different colored versions that are coming so and you I'm can buy this version you'll be able to the use idea the arm from one to another and is to do it in 30 minutes <laughs> make them in 30 minutes maybe 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 we should do it on Gumpla TV yeah try and smash 30 it 30 minute mission <laughs> Try cool. to try to build it in 30 minutes. So, I mean, if, if if you just cut it straight off the runner without worrying about the nub marks and all that stuff, I'm sure you could be knocked out quite fast. But yeah, cool, cool. I like to take my time, watch TV, watch some BBC. BBC. Right? Really? There's a new show with the, the guy that played Rob Stark in Game of Thrones. What was it called? Bodyguard or something like that? Rob Stark. Oh, I know the guy. Okay. Right, right. It's a quite, it's a good show. It's quite good. Him. That quite was good. quite good. I was watching that last night when I was building the Hatsune Miku. What was I watching when I built this? Probably 
YouTube. YouTube, oh, okay. I'm, cu- uh, but I'm currently watching. <laughs> yeah, I'm currently watching um, Lost again. Oh, okay. Because the girlfriend hasn't seen it, so. Really, I've never watched it either. It's good until maybe right at the end. Right, I just no don't want to like. But... I feel like there's just so much controversy about that show. It yeah. just like feels if I don't ever watch it, I don't have to worry about <laughs> like being disappointed. Oh my god, can you imagine if Game of Thrones ended like that? Just like an absolute failure, people will, would be. Yeah, we'll know in April. It starts again in April. So yes, I'm going to be Hopefully, watching. but then again, I mean, even if games, even if the show has a bad ending, I mean, the books are probably going to end up with like a different ending. So yeah, they've if already the books are ever finished. withdrawn. Yeah, <laughs> right? of course. So we, I mean, even if you're not, dis- if you, even if you're disappointed with the show ending, you kind of have the book ending still to look forward to. So yeah, who knows? I mean, there's still something, but at least lost. I mean, you're just screwed. There's the one ending. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, unless they re-release it. They Unless should do they, another like a remake. Them. Somebody yeah. fixes it, but I mean, if you're going through all that hassle, just make a new show. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> don't don't carry that baggage with you. Okay. All right. Now. So we have it's time <laughs> for <laughs> two thousand yen. Hobby Link Japan's door credit, and this week the random number generator gods have chosen comment number thirty-one. Hey, the thirty-one on episode three one one. And this week it goes to Petit Guy Guy Type Zen Zen Fuzen Zen Fuzen Zen Fuzen maybe total failure. That's what he. Uh, that's that's the, quite a good good guess. Might be total failure. All right, and the comment is foolish pick peons. The more you promote the glorious merchandise of the Kerodo Platoon, the closer they will come to conquering us all. Are they enemies? I never knew. Uh, you know, I've never watched the series, but. I thought it was just like a little it. frog in somehow. No, I, I looked it up on Wikipedia last week when I was doing that kit, and it's something like these little frog army men are coming to conquer Earth. Oh, really? So I just saw one like doing hoovering, hoovering, or what do you call it? Vacuum cleaning in a girl's room. Oh, okay. What that was about. He's, he's, he's good at hoovering, you yes. would say? <laughs> All right, so, and also that. Or the funds will just be funneled into buying more Gumpla. Well, guess what, Pichich Guy Type Fuz. Well, <laughs> you are going to have 2,000 yen to buy your own Gumpla. So nice. we will be contacting you shortly on Hobbylink TV to get that credit to you. All right, so if you guys out there would also like to win 2,000 yen Hobbylink Japan store credit, all you need to do is go to hobbylink.tv. Find episode number 311 mm. and post a comment. Something. Please remember to be registered, otherwise I won't be able to give you yes. the credit. Like <gasps> and subscribe and hit the bell. All jazz. that fun jazz that really <laughs> helps us. Yes, like, it does. It does. Cool. And I guess we'll see you next week. We will indeed. Please remember that you can find us on Tumblr, Twitter, Facegram. Facegram, yeah. Facegram, Facebook, Instagram, and yeah, that's it. Yeah. All right, everybody, <laughs> have a good week, and we will see you again soon. Goodbye.